y'all, we have a huge announcement. Before we get into the pod, we have exciting news. We have two live shows coming up, Indianapolis, Indiana, September 15th in Richmond, Virginia, September 16th. You guys join us for our first live shows on the road. That's right, you guys. We are so excited to see you in person today. Tickets are available only on Patreon for our Chain Gang community because you know they get everything first. Head over to theknowforsure.com for all the details right now. Right now, y'all. All tickets go on sale to the public June 22nd, Indiana and Richmond. We will see you September. Back to the show, you guys. We're very detailed. We don't yeah. just want to be like, oh, we sold out. Because really... If we didn't care, we could be like, oh, we sold out. They don't know what they're getting. We want it to be an experience. We want you to leave feeling fulfilled. And we want to make sure that, you know, the presence of God is felt in the room. Yeah, and that's something like beyond the, you know, the set design and production and VIP and gen- like besides all of that stuff, y'all, like spiritually, we've been like preparing it's deeper than just we just you know trying to put on a live show like we are truly invested into seeing god move in people's lives yeah what's up you guys i'm b simone and i'm megan ashley and welcome to the know for sure podcast where we talk about healing growing evolving and having the tough conversations yes and we also talk about relationships not just romantic relationships but platonic relationships like the relationship i have with my best friend megan ashley of 20 years 20 years baby yes baby do you know for sure i think i know for sure but what i do know for sure is after this episode you're gonna know something for sure What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Know For Sure podcast. I am B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And today is a very, 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 very special episode. If you have been with us since day one, you know every single woman that is on this couch. And if you haven't, we will introduce you and have them introduce themselves. Um, Yesterday marked 14 days of us losing one of our very, very close friends, Miss Jackie O., Jacqueline Smith, we love you. And this episode is dedicated to her. Um, So we are going to be on here celebrating her life Mm -hmm. and getting deep and yeah. Sharing our experience. Sharing our experience. I don't even know where to go with this, but we all have on pink for Jackie. Yeah, Yeah. nice and bright. Um, Nice and bright. Um, We're two weeks into losing our friend and we decided to do an episode and dedicate it to her. Because if you go back to episode three, every girl on this couch was on episode three, minus uh, Shekinah. Shekinah is here now, (laughs) Um, including Jackie. Um, So we're dedicating this episode to her with our village, with our friend group. And yeah, you guys can go around and introduce yourself to the viewers that have no idea who you are. (laughs) Brie <laughs> Renee okay. from the A. <laughs> well, those of y'all who don't do not know me, I go by Brie Renee straight from the A. Um, all of these beautiful ladies are my friends. I'm a radio personality, TV personality, and actress here in the ATL. Hey, and yes. I love y'all. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited to be back on the couches. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what's going on? My name is Leticia Gardner. Chichi, if you're nasty. Shut up. <laughs> a little insider. Um, We're not, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Racha. AKA right. Jackie's twin. Um, if you guys oh, followed a lot of our stuff. Um, I'm a mom, wife, entrepreneur, and I wear many hats. But mm-hmm. that's it. <laughs> and a beauty. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey family, I'm Ernestine Morrison. I am a Jill of all trades, really actress, poet, um, mom, wife, um, and more importantly, friend to this friend group here. So yeah. I'm here. I'm out here. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, I'm Shekinah, wife, mom, um, entrepreneur, as everybody else here, and a new addition to the friend group, hey. um, which I'm so happy to be a part. I just love everybody so much. And you. Oh, thank y'all for being here. Oh, it's like, do we have a name? Love the crew. Oh, yeah, Love the crew. Love the crew. I did. Did you? I That's did. That's our group yeah. chat name. I forgot. Love the crew. Love the crew. Every time it pops up on my phone, I'm like, oh. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you following me for? <laughs> Drake. Literally. But um, yeah, this episode is dedicated to our baby Jackie. It's a village like the Lucky Seven, y'all. It was um it still is us. And yes. I'm gonna take us back a little bit. Um, this might be a little heavy, but I'm gonna start with you, Chi Chi. Mm-hmm. Back to the day um that you got the news about Jackie. We don't have to walk through it, yeah. you know, um, step by step, but whatever you want to share from that day. But I think <clears> it's important because people see us as social media influencers. And it, for me, at least, I can speak for me. I don't know about y'all. It was hard for me to even post mm-hmm. me smiling mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. because Guilty. of the way people expect you to grieve or mm-hmm. yeah. now it's two weeks later, people, why are you happy? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, you're smiling. Or I, oh, and we'll talk about that later, the guilt that I had. Yeah. Same. Of even going even going on with my day, mm-hmm. but before mm-hmm. we get to that, I want to start from the beginning of because you were the, the first, first person one. that mm-hmm. found out that our friend passed away. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I had just talked to Jackie the day before. Um, she was good. She was she was good. We were excited. Just asking a bunch of questions. We were just talking like we normally do, and it was fine. And she was going to get some rest. And I was like, okay, I'm going to check back on, checking on you a few. She had an appointment the next morning. Um, and I had been calling and calling, and I hadn't got an answer back. And then it was that whole day I didn't get an answer back. I was texting her. I was calling. Auntie was with her. So, um, But the next morning, Auntie called really early and if you guys know auntie or ever seen her on jackie's page she has the sweetest sweetest voice. Yeah. bubbly little bubbly voice and rod and i were actually reading our word that morning so the first time she called i didn't see it but she called back to back and i was like well let me grab this phone call because let me check on jackie so when i answered it and i was like hey and she was like hey chi chi and when when she said that Jackie was gone, I I must have turned completely pale. I don't even know because my husband just looked at me and was like, "What happened?" Jesus. And I just I just broke down. <clears throat> um but I told Auntie I would uh you know, deliver the message to the rest of the girls. She couldn't make any more phone calls and having to call each of you to give you the news is I feel like every time I had to say that mm. she wasn't here, I had to just relive in the moment. Yeah. And it's it's just hard. It's just hard. It's just hard. I don't I think one of the first things <clears throat> I felt when you called me was shock. Mm-hmm. I didn't shed a tear instantly. Mm-hmm. I didn't mm-hmm. it I just remember I kept saying, say what you just said. She, your voice changed. Mm-hmm. Like you sounded like a different person and you started screaming. I don't, I don't, maybe you don't think you started crying, but you went, you were, you were screaming mm-hmm. and I was crying and I was just <clears throat> like, it just was every time I had to say the words mm-hmm. to everyone, I just kept brief. It just, it just became it was just unreal and then yeah. it was like it hit me every time i had to say it and then it <clears throat> then i'd stop for a minute and then it would hit me again and i was just like i can't make another call mm-hmm. like i can't do this right now and then wait 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 kfs family huge announcement the journals you have all been waiting for are officially here yeah that's right you heard it right the first edition no for sure journals are available right now on our website so head over to the knowforsure.com and grab yours today y'all these kfs journals are a study guide to help you maneuver through each episode journal your thoughts and feelings while listening and reflecting on what you heard so you can actually retain it and apply it to your life there are also motivational quotes throughout the journal to keep you motivated. Plus, each journal comes with a custom pouch and a no for short ink pen. We are already almost sold out, so thank you guys who already bought your journals. But you, if you do not have it, go grab it right now on the knowforsure.com. Get your journal while they still last. We love you guys, and when you get it in the mail, make sure you post and tag us. Let's heal and journal together. All right, you guys, back to the show. 
Yeah. I After s- you called me, I had to make the call to Bree and Megan. Um, I think Chi called, called me and then I called Brie, but you didn't pick up. I called Brie like eight times. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked to Brie though. And mm-hmm. she had already I called to you after. Yeah. I and then you it. called and then you called. It was a, it was a lot. It was a, bunch a of calls. cycle. You called me like so three times. You're like, I you're going to answer, you answer this phone. Mm-hmm. Right. I was, I had to work that day. Yeah. Um, so I was walking in. Our call time was like 730. I'm walking into Revolt and I was just so excited to be like back. I had went in my office, put my stuff down and I was headed to hair and makeup. And literally I remember walking in hair and makeup and taking my phone out of my pocket to sit down and I seen Ernestine call me. But I'm thinking Ernestine just calling about the movie. I'm like, <laughs> like not right now. I'm gonna call because I was so excited to be back at work. And I'm like, when I'm there, I'm present. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I was like, let me put my phone on the charger and it was about to die anyway. I was like, let me put the phone on the charger. I'll talk to her later at lunch. I put the phone on the charger and you did call back a couple more times, mm-hmm. but it was sitting over there. And then you know how you go like 45 minutes without your phone. So you didn't just naturally mm-hmm. go grab it. As soon as I picked my phone up off the charger, B was calling me. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, that's weird. Cause Jesus. me and B don't, we, we voice we text. Always text. We yeah. always text or voice text. That's how me and her just naturally communicate. So if she's calling it's cause I'm picking her up or we headed somewhere right. or, or something. I, I said something gotta be wrong. Cause you called me and then I had seen you had called me a bunch and she was calling me. So I answered it. And, um, <clears throat> like you said, her voice was just, she was crying. You were, you were, your voice was so like I knew something. I was like, "What's wrong? What's yeah. wrong?" Like you just were, you were like Bree, and you were just crying. I'm like, "What is wrong?" And you said Jackie died, mm. and I was like, "Oh Jesus, mm, what?" Yeah, and I, I felt the same way you said, like just shock. Like yes. I was sitting there, they were doing my hair, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, Bree said, "What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Saying, like, what do you, mean? what are you, what are you, what are you saying? What are you, what are you I talking about?" I think that about? was everybody's that's, that's initial yeah. response shock. when Chichi said, uh, "Chichi said Jackie passed." I said, "What do you, what, what do you, what mean? Do you mean?" Yeah, and Chichi called me at eight a.m. So I'm like, mm-hmm. "Chichi's calling me at eight a.m. Something's what, what's going, what's going on?" And she said, Jackie passed. When, and I'm just like, what? When B called me, she FaceTimed me. And I was in the car with my kids, taking them to basketball camp. And she couldn't see me because I'm on yeah. car play. Mm-hmm. So I could see her. But it's not uncommon that she has called me before uh, upset about something or crying about something. Um, I had, uh, automatically thought it was something with her stomach mm-hmm. because she had called me before and her stomach was bothering her. And I'm like, what's going on? And when she said it, I'm driving. I threw my like self over my steering wheel because I'm like, and I kept saying, what are you saying? Like, I don't know exactly what I said to you, but I was like, what, like, what do you mean? It was still that same type of yeah, shock. What are you like, saying? What are you, mm-hmm. And I, and I was like, are they sure? Yeah. yeah. I kept saying, I are you, you sure? Saying, oh, are they Jesus. sure? Are they sure? Mm-hmm. Be sure about this. Don't say this. Are we, are we sure? Yeah. I kept, cause it didn't feel real. Yeah. And it still no. doesn't feel real. It still real. doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. Um, but I've never experienced one i've never experienced losing anybody that i was remotely friends with mm-hmm. never. Yeah, neither. and i've neither. never experienced f- that feeling I, i've never cried like like i was screaming yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah screaming yeah. Mm-hmm. same how did you I, so, feel kind of when you first got called shock i was she, she, she called, called me. i'm bad at my phone that's like a whole thing within the group You're like you never answer your phone but she, she called me three times and i was like wait what something is not right i answered the phone and she just, she just immediately was like, Jackie's dead. And I was like, you're lying. What? And I almost, I was like at the tip of my bed, almost fell out the bed. Mm-hmm. And Halo's like, what's wrong, mommy? What's wrong? I was like, I just immediately walked out of the room. I I didn't want to hang up with Gigi because I was just like, I didn't understand. Mm-hmm. It's like my mind couldn't yeah. catch up to what she was saying. Mm-hmm. It just felt like shock. And then as soon as we hung up the phone, because she was like, I got to hang up. And I didn't want her to hang up. It's like, I just wanted to stay on the phone with her. We weren't even saying anything. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. didn't want to hang up. We hung up and I just fell to the ground and I just, I lost it. And my sister yeah. and my husband came in the room and just started praying. And just, <clears throat> it was just, it's like, I don't know. It's just a news you never expect yeah. to hear. Like we were, sh- we were just together. We were just together. Three, three, days, day, three, days, three, days, three days prior. Three days prior. Yeah. At Niaja's graduation party. 
and we were talking about how Jackie made this grand exit. Like yeah. she stood grand. at the top of Chi Chi's yeah. balcony. At the top of that balcony. And we she all looked up. Everyone's yeah. name. She said, Brie, bye, Brie. I just see I see it vividly. Yeah. yeah. She was there holding prints on the her. Sun on her was hip. Hitting her, the way the sun was the hitting sun her face. The sun was shining on her. And she was like, we were laying on the canopy. Mm-hmm. And she was mm-hmm. like, bye, B, bye, Kaina, bye, Chi Chi. Like she called Jesus. out each she of called her, out her names. names. And I just I see that moment so vividly. Like she was like, I don't. It was a grand exit. It was a sure. grand exit. It was the and way she said was, in our group text, "What a what did she say? What a, a she said a glorious, glorious day. day. Glorious day. Glorious day. Glorious day. Glorious Before day. that, she said we were all, all together, together in one place. Yep, and yeah. yeah. didn't get a picture. Yeah. We didn't get we a didn't picture. get a picture. Yeah, and then she sent a um emoji or something. Yeah. It was like a little gif. Yeah, and then she said, "Glorious day. What a glorious day." I I do want to. Because that day, I think the way we showed up for each other, mm-hmm. yeah, and to me, I, the biggest analogy or it was like a scene from a movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it was literally it was. a scene from a movie, but it wasn't a movie. It was our reality. I found out at Wild and Out, so of course I had to cancel. I didn't go to set that day. Crazy, because we were supposed to be coming to Wild and Out to interview mm. Nick. To interview Nick. Yep. yep. And, and you we were can't. on a call, and then I was like, "Well, B's not coming, y'all. I don't think we're gonna do this." And then yeah. they were like, "Wait, Nick says postpone. He's postponing all press yep. today." And I was like, yep. "We're not doing this interview. I'm leaving. Yep. Like, I mm-hmm. need to yep. leave." Yeah. Because then you were like, "I'm headed to Chi Chi's," and I'm we like, all "Okay." Went, we all went to Chi Chi's. Yeah, and, and I, so and I want to talk a little bit about that. How we showed up as a community, as friends, covered each other. I mean, we were in that bed in your all house. Day. 12 all hours. All day. 12, 12 hours. Yeah. And we, we spent one leave. hour out of the, out we of the bed. We didn't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. We, got a, we got food. We used the bathroom. We got water. Got yeah. back in the bed. We got, got back in the bed. We got back in the bed. But the cycles of grieving y'all. Mm-hmm. Is real. It, we we cried in that bed. We, we prayed. Yes. We yeah. laughed. We did. Thinking about Jackie, we had moments of laughter. Mm-hmm. And this is all within the first 24 hours of us losing one of our closest friends. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I want to talk. What a I love bit is how that. everybody dropped everything. Oh, like she yeah, was supposed to be yeah, at Revolt. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. Green Lady Tail that day. I'm like, yeah. somebody else can do it. Like everybody dropped everything. I was on Halo every was episode. Sick. Of I had to go to a doctor's appointment. Said, yeah, absolutely. It was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. And you uh, dropped the boys wherever mm-hmm. they were yep, going school, and drove straight over. Everybody street. dropped yeah. everything to be with each other. Yeah. And that was like that's. That's just such a huge thing to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It was like not even a thought. It was like, all right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody pull up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We literally went to Chi Chi's house and um we sat there, we talked it out, we cried it out. And but- it wasn't like normal cries, y'all. Like we there were moments of wailing. Like we yeah. were not No, it was it was not it was pain. Vomiting. It was like painful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I mean, like it was the only way that I can equated to was like it was painful mm-hmm. it was yeah. you gut wrenching screaming just breathe just breathe yeah. oh yeah mm-hmm. that's how i don't even know that i'm not breathing i was like because yeah. she yeah. would just sit there and, and she like, was hot you were sweating yeah. sweating. Yeah. Was sweating yeah oh my god but and having to experience everyone experience their cycle of grief like mm-hmm. there was a moment where brie was angry yeah and she experienced yeah. that anger you yeah. know what i mean and Asking frustration why? why like why? why did this happen why you know and that's a real that's real. That's a real mad. thing. She was so yeah. mad. mad. I was so mad. And I was like, I'm trying not to be mad at God. Mm, like, because yeah. it, it doesn't make sense to mm-hmm. me. Like, why would you take her? You know what I mean? Yeah. Not just because of the person that she was, but because she's a mom. Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking about the kids. And I'm like, Prince isn't even one mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. just the huge <clears throat> shoes that, like... I have an amazing mom. We all have great moms, but it's just like, I've never seen anybody mom Jackie, like yeah. Jackie. Jackie, Jackie was you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, different. you know, what she was going to do, we think is so common. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And like people do, yeah. like, why would this happen? Like when yeah. you get on a roller coaster, they're like, oh, something could happen. Like you could break your neck. And yeah, you think yeah. like, oh, it'll never be it me. It'll never happen to me. It'll never be us. Like we just, you know, so it's just like, I never thought that that would happen to someone so young. Mm-hmm. Someone that was my friend. It, it really showed me that no one is exempt. Nobody someone is exempt. that you feel like had so much yeah. more purpose. Like well, so she had much to raise plans. those kids, or she had to mm-hmm. do this, or she had to do that. So you know? I was mad. Yeah, mad. Yeah. Angry. As a mom, just the, one of the first things I thought about after like everything kind of settled, and you're like, okay, this is really real. As a mom, the first thing I did was think about those three babies. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was just like, wow, their mother is gone. gone. Mm-hmm. Like the weight of that. 
And they're all so young. And the two mm-hmm. young ones might not remember her. Yeah. Like yeah. Prince you know is I mean? still being yeah. breastfed. I yeah. said, right. just in an instant, there's no breast milk. Yeah. In an instant, yeah. everything, yeah. all his comfort that he knows. And it's like gone. the way he literally eats, it's mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. Nova, not, just someone's mom is mm-hmm. gone. That just mm-hmm. broke me. That just broke me down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel anger at all, Chi Chi and Meg? Did y'all feel anger? I wasn't um, angry. I, um, because I know that physically she's not here. And even in that moment, spiritually, I still feel her. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I I have peace knowing that I know that she's okay. Um, I honestly, it's just more of the hurt of trying to adjust without, without her, her physically being, mm-hmm. being here. We talked every day about any and everything possible. We share each other's locations. So the hard part was to stop Stop watching the location on her phone, mm-hmm. still moving though she's not here because you know somebody had the phone. But it was, it wasn't anger. It was just like, I miss you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's just mm-hmm. still so unreal. Just mm-hmm. looking at her on your shirt right now is just like, mm-hmm. oh wow, it's mind blowing that yeah. she's not sitting mm-hmm. next to us right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. yeah, but it's more of just, I feel still. Yeah, yeah. I still yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I feel like it's time I just feel numb. Like I can't even feel my hands. Yeah. Like I'm just, Yeah. I don't know. I'm still processing what I feel, All honestly. Yeah. yeah, it's still yeah. very, you know, very new. new. We're mm-hmm. still in the thick of it. I didn't feel um, anger. Um, I felt extreme guilt. Mm-hmm. Like guilt mm-hmm. hit, hit me really hard. Me too. Um, for numerous reasons. And the last conversation, personal like conversation that I had with Jackie was just a few days prior to um, when we were all at your house. And she had texted me and said, you know, you were on my heart really heavy. Mm-hmm. She's like, you're on my heart. And I'm praying for you. And I want you to know that I love <clears throat> you. And, um, and I, you know, we were talking about making time. She had been wanting to come and see the house. And she was like, I, I want to make time and whatever. Um, but I felt guilty for not prioritizing that time. That time. That time. Mm-hmm. And I felt guilty for not for not wanting to live mm-hmm. because I know she did. Mm-hmm. And so I know how much I have not wanted to, mm-hmm. and I know how much she did, and I wanted mm-hmm. it to be me. I would have rather it be me. That was the feeling Jesus. of it would have been easier had it been me because I'd never appreciated life the way that she did. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Wow. In the, in the way that she did. Yeah. And so I can't change that. I can't change what is, um, but I can move forward yeah. with that appreciation mm-hmm. yeah. for, and life now. for loving, yeah. you know what I mean? And taking it the way that she took it mm-hmm. and, and, living yeah you know she was just alive, alive. she was alive yeah. and free yeah and i, I think that same I, guilt too though I, yeah and i i didn't realize it till y'all had the um the event at the church yeah. oh yeah yeah and that's i that I day hit us all different broke Ooh, that day was all at the conference, conference yeah that day that was, was insane I, that, day was that was so hard. so hard and that was the day that i was struggling with the with the guilt too mm-hmm. because i i not shared that with you you know mm-hmm. there i'm like i had felt the same way just mm-hmm. a couple weeks prior mm-hmm. like i literally in the enemy, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, was telling me like, if you're not here, it wouldn't matter, right? Mm-hmm. right. Like right. you, right. there, you. What do you have? You don't have kids. You don't have a purpose. Ooh, like, Bree. and you and, know that's a lie. Yeah. I know now, and it's just like just to yeah. be in that space and like really think that though, mm-hmm. and then to have someone removed, and then to see the. I, it felt like she is she was a thread to our lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And to see how one thread could be removed and the yeah. entire like dress just fall apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I felt Ooh, like, wow. how dare you think that about mm-hmm. not only yourself, but like you said, this is somebody who deserved to yeah. be here. Yeah. Who wanted to be here. You know, who yeah. wanted to be yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like for you to life. not en- enjoy, enjoy every that. moment yeah. and to so not appreciate every life. moment or to doubt it is yeah. insane to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Like and moving forward, it would be disrespectful 
to have that disrespect. Like that. It's disrespectful. This, yeah, so I felt like that day, I felt like I was like repenting. Like yeah. I'm yeah. So, so sorry yeah. for thinking. So sorry. I'm so convicted. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went down good. her. I went down her oh. uh, Instagram that day, and there was a video she put up, and she was walking through her neighborhood, and the caption was something like, "When you grew up." Yeah, yep. in a single yeah. parent household mm-hmm. or something, and now yeah. you, and now, and now you, now own, you live in a gated community, in yeah. and they're having a movie yeah. night, so you're pulling up, and I was like, God, just that something so simple, yeah, and I felt guilt too but just guilt in a different way like just moving on and like or hugging my child that day Mm -hmm. was just like you start feeling guilty like geez some like your friend didn't make it yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the stuff that you just take for granted freely yeah that she literally appreciated she appreciated every every little thing everything that's how my guilt showed up too i was planning halo's third birthday Birthday. party it was june 4th and Mm -hmm. jackie's and i's last conversation was about her planning prince and Nala's birthday mm-hmm. party mm-hmm. and I felt so guilty like the planning process of Halos was kind of done but even just pushing through pushing and getting through. ready and trying to figure out the last minute details I just felt like I don't even want to celebrate but mm-hmm. I literally heard Jackie mm-hmm. like girl come on you yeah. better celebrate like, your what baby are you talking mm-hmm. about? yes and it's but you just I didn't I told I think I texted you this I was like I just want to sit at Chi Chi's house like we did yeah. the day after we found out and just stay there Forever. but that's not how life works yeah you know yeah. what I mean you have to go on but it you feel this heavy sense of guilt yeah and my guilt came from the emotions I didn't feel mm. I felt guilty for not being upset for not being angry. I, yes, I was sad. Yes, mm-hmm. I miss my friend. Yes, this is unfortunate. Yes, I can't believe it. Yes, I'm still in shock. But I was guilty for not being mad mm-hmm. and having, I feel like I got peace too early. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And and I, and I now I know, and during that, I know that was the enemy, but I had peace about Jackie soon. Mm-hmm. And it's because of how she lived her life, yeah, yeah. and her relationship with, with God, God before yeah. she lived. Yeah, yeah. she texted because, the group chat. Remember that? And what? she was like, "I feel like in order to be within this group, I have to I get have closer, to closer to God. God. Yeah, yeah, closer to God." So I was guilty that I'm like, "Why am I not grieving the way the you think you should be grieving? Yeah. The way yeah. I think I should. Be. Why am I not distraught and yeah, mad? Yeah. And why am I not in a dark room?" And yeah. And, and angry at God mm-hmm. or angry at the world or upset, mm-hmm. I was guilty about that. Yeah, wow. like you know, stuff yeah. that go through your mind. What, 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 is that your friend, friend, or yeah. what you, are you supposed to feel like this? No, <laughs> right. that numb? was my friend, yeah. Yeah. and I know she's in heaven. Yes, she's okay. yeah. and Absolutely. I know she lived her life for she left empty yeah she i have peace about that yeah, Jackie yeah. Did she every didn't she didn't leave anything she wanted to, nothing on in the no table. area in of no her area. life no, and no I, area. that's why i feel like i didn't experience guilt at all mm. I, I miss my friend yeah but i know that she knew jesus she yeah. Yeah. and not spiritually yeah. sound that i yeah. know that she's good and yeah. i got to see her do it all like mm-hmm. she was successful at everything she touched she got her real estate yeah. Yeah. she's yeah. yeah. taking yeah. every class she's done and her it new, all her new restaurant celebrated she, yeah. always, she got her house There's a lot of things that they didn't speak about even at her last service they wanted to bring up her 20s but you forget <laughs> she's not letting that like, go like, well, she was in this music video we, like, 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 well, gonna come yeah, us. Us. we all had heydays but she Jackie like, was a her lip gloss is on Amazon like it was everything was Jackie's a bona fide boss Boss. 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 That's all you kept saying when we went to start shipping and stuff. When we went to her was office, like, I said, was oh, boss. Jackie was a real boss. I mean, I yeah. knew she was a boss, yeah. but going to her to office, I'm like, oh, she yeah. was a boss boss. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was, I'm like, oh, she was out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she yeah. put her heart thing. into everything she did. She didn't half step anything. If yeah. Jackie wanted it to be done, it was done and it was done yep. right. And she mm-hmm. put her whole heart right. into it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Even when we would just host or plan little things for the kids at the house, we was always in a theme. It was always everything together. Theme. Theme. So theme queen. Cool. We went to Mermaid. I'm like, we don't. I don't Completely dress dressed up in mermaid outfit. We, we had green dressed up. We picked up. their outfits right. together. Yep. She was like, Breeze so. the rock. You're the same. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we had on black and I had on brown. Um, yeah. No, I had guilt too about like just you said working like and and even one night sleep. Like oh, one night, God. I felt like, how dare you be sleep? Jackie would be up right Ooh, now. But where do y'all and think working that really doing... comes from? Because that's not from Jackie, and that's not from God. Right. I, that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, I, I think it's a stage of grief. Yeah. 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 I think that's a natural. Yeah. It's a natural yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm just yeah. curious because yeah. God, my dad said something that I want to pinpoint. When you said that you felt angry towards God, 
he said, why do we always want to go to being angry towards God in moments like this? Because the devil is the one that comes to steal, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. Mm-hmm. God comes to give life. Mm-hmm. And it's like immediately our mind and our emotions just want to automatically go to be being mad at God. But it's like, no, I'm mad at the devil because yeah. you always come in to take what's rightfully mine. Ooh, yeah, take wow. my joy. Or, or, take and Jackie joy, was and full Jackie of joy. Full yeah. of joy. So and you're coming joy. right now to even destroy my joy, making me feel guilty. Why can't I feel joy and be like, okay, mm-hmm. she's gone. Like this, we all have to go through this moment in life where we're not going to be here. At least she lived a full oh, life. Yeah. You know life. what I mean? Yeah. Happy life. Even when we sat on my bed that day when we didn't get out the bed, and it was a moment where I just like felt chill, chills and I just laughed and I was like, I can literally see Jackie sitting on the edge of the bed with us right now. Like, like yes. yep, mm-hmm. talk about, talk about, about me. me. <laughs> yeah. Do more. It's okay, like, cry. Okay, okay that's it. Right. Okay, <laughs> smile. You know what I mean? Like, sure I would. can still hear her so clearly. That's how we I got can it. definitely hear her saying that. You're not crying I enough. I, I can hear her saying that. that she's, I think I immediately had peace that she was in heaven. I wasn't concerned. I don't, about that at all. I think I had peace about that immediately it was a eternal thing for you i think it was it it was a reflection it yeah. was an opportunity how am i living take, my life yeah how am i living my life exactly yeah. Yeah. and yeah, i think that yeah. was the guilt. it guilt. wasn't guilt about that's jackie whatsoever that's where right, but right. it was from. guilt as in this is now an opportunity mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. for you to examine yes. your how life you're living. how you how are living and are you living where are you living in a way that you are going to be comfortable with how are you living in a way that you're gonna have five friends lay on a bed Ooh. and remember remember you for okay. for yes. twelve hours. Lord. Are you gonna you have, have six friends are you shipping out your shipping checking, out your order? Or checking your on kids. your babies. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got three kids. Are, is somebody gonna be coming and picking up them boys if something happened to you? Mm-hmm. Are you living a life that is reflective of that? And it was an opportunity she to, was so to deserving look. Of that. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was deserving of yeah. that. And yeah. I said that I want to be a friend deserving of that same thing like living in a way and it had nothing really to do it it did have everything to do with how jackie was with us but Mm -hmm. that just was who she was in general it It didn't matter even if you didn't know her you wanted to celebrate her even if you didn't know her you were grieving her loss for sure that's what i think i've been wrestling i'm sorry no go ahead that's what i think i've been wrestling with since, since she passed is like I know the people who are in my life experience experience the full of me. But like, what about the people who are just in passing? Would they say the yeah. same thing about you? Or the people yeah. you just barely met or had one first impression with Lord. you? Would they say the same thing? I know the people who you who you love. Right, they know right, you love right. them, right. and they know you're whatever. But the people who just just have an instance with See you, like, you what, online. what is that? Mm-hmm. Or what is that first impression mm-hmm. that people mm-hmm. experience mm-hmm. with you? Yeah. That made me like really want to mm-hmm. evolve that experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's your girl, B. Simone. And before we start this episode, you guys, I have a huge announcement. Ah! I cultivated a private community on Instagram, which is a safe space that I get to pour into and be active with people who are truly, truly my close friends. Y'all, this private community gets all of me. Close friends gets exclusive personal content, the behind the scenes, daily motivation, my day to day, all of which I do not post on my main Instagram, only my close friends. Recently, we even started a book club and we discussed over an intimate private Zoom. Zoom. The first book we are discussing is Healing the Soul of a Woman by Joyce Meyer, so don't miss out on this, guys. I'm super excited to even announce that we will also be doing one-on-one Q&As. Y'all have been asking me for private mentorship, and y'all know I'm not a mentor, but I got y'all, so I can't wait to host this for you all one-on-one. To join my close friends community, all you have to do is go to officialbsimone.com right now, and you will get all the information sent to your email so you don't mix the next private Zoom call with me, which is less than two weeks away. I love you guys. Sign up right now at officialbsimone.com. That's O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L bsimone.com and let's heal together. See you later, close friends. Let's get back to the pod. Mm, And that's what I was going to say, the impact she left, the whole culture shifted. Mm -hmm. The whole world, I'm not even going to say the nation and the culture, the The world world, Mm -hmm. was celebrating this woman and they didn't even know Know her. her. And Mm -hmm. I I, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. What would my impact and legacy be if I passed away on the internet? Mm -hmm. Hers was powerful, positive, positive, impactful. People said they were grieving. They never even Mm -hmm. met her. her. They looking at her pictures. 
that is how I want to leave. Yeah, yes. you open your phone right now. People were you commenting. Still see it. That's yeah, what I'm people saying. were commenting on it. our pages, our posts, saying like, "I loved her. She, I've been inspired. She made me enjoy being a mom. Yeah. Yeah. She showed me Lord. I could do it all. Like it's yeah. like you said that they have never, never met her, experienced just her. experienced her through the internet, through their phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like never yeah. seen her in person, and yeah. then yeah. celebrated her. And then like you said, when you heard when you mentioned about Jackie sitting on the bed, mm -hmm. I felt the same way. I heard her when one day I woke up at every slide. Everything was Jackie, and I'm like, Jackie's like, yeah, look at me. I shut down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shut down the internet, babe. And I'm yeah. like, she got her million. She wanted her million followers. She finally hit her million followers. Yeah. Yeah. She got it that day. I'm like, how you, you got 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 million. How do you guys feel um, that we could do better at perpetuating a a culture of like celebrating? people mm -hmm. before they go because yeah. I do believe mm -hmm. that even mm -hmm. within myself mm -hmm. you treat things differently when you lose it yeah you, know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. you find it you find the value and stuff when they ain't there no yeah. more mm -hmm. yeah. um and so how do you guys feel that or what's our responsibility mm -hmm. because I do believe that everything that God allows he also gives us a response a bit like, all right, what you going to do with right, this? Now yeah. this happened. Now this happened. Your, what, are you, what, are you, what is your response? In that? I'll give you yeah. a small thing okay. that I think that anybody can do. And it gave me peace in this time. Like Jackie knew how much I loved her mom and entrepreneurship. Like I told her that every single time, Candy. yeah, like, sure. every chance yeah. I got, I told it. her that. So just even looking at our text thread, like I had said like, oh wow, you're planning the mermaid. Like you're such a great mom. Yeah. I love how you're a mom. Like you're I just, into your friends. Yeah. I yes. poured into her and I Speaking gave her life. every single compliment that came in my mind. Yeah. Everything yeah. I admired about her, yep. I told her. So I think that, like you said, to make people feel celebrated, that gave me peace that yeah. she knew how much I loved and admired mm -hmm. her. Yeah. So I think that if we, in the moment, when you like, oh, B, I love how you always lighten the mood. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. just giving, yeah. if it flowers, feels flowers, flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Flowers. immediately I say, say it. Pour into your village. Yeah. Yeah. Pour into your village. And, and, and specifically, like that. what yeah, we, we, we all that. like different things and we all have different love languages. And one thing I loved about Jackie, so she, she Jackie knows like I'm the biggest J Nova collection fan. I've been buying it mm -hmm. since day one. Mm -hmm. But she knew, she knew that I liked the old bottles compared to the new one. So she would always make sure my orders were shipped with the old bottles. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I loved her for that. Yeah. Like just such a small nuance. And I felt peace just going through our text thread. The last text I text her was literally four days before she passed. And I said, I called her. She didn't pick up. Y'all you know I like to call people. Yeah. I called her it's and like she text didn't. Me. Love text call. Me. But I like the calls because yeah. I like to hear your voice. So I called her and she didn't pick up. Um, and I text her. I said, hey, babe, they didn't want anything. You've been heavy on my spirit. Just wanted to, to um, hear your voice and tell you that I love you. And she texted me right back. And it's just like I felt peace knowing that I always use but my words to there. pour yeah. and always yeah. call, yeah. pick up. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that we can just continue to do that. And I think yeah. it's celebrating people's differences. Yeah. Jackie mm -hmm. was Beautiful. Y'all see, yeah. see what we got on? Y'all see what we got she on? Was she was a mythical. She was mythical. Whimsical. 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 All in pink. Like. I got right. on a scrunchie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's because of Jackie rhinestones and this and that. Yeah. And, and Jackie, made her happy. And yeah. We let her be herself. Yeah. And we do that with each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But she going to show up. Mitch match. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, you know you don't don't spam Rainbow this slide. video. Yes, yes. Don't you get this video deleted? Because yeah. I know you out there. Don't don't do that. Right. Uh, Mitch match. Rainbow slides. She didn't care. In the middle of summer. summer. Right. Hat. Fur hat. With a hat to match. With a hat. Yeah. And it takes time. She that made her happy and mm -hmm. confident. Yeah. And we celebrated that. Yeah, we, did. we did. You know what I mean? So celebrating each other's differences. Yeah. I think is important in your village too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I had peace because we did as a group of of women. Like, I don't know why I always go back to the night we did the vision boards at mm -hmm. your house. That was such a good night. And I night think that was. we take it for granted because we're so used to used it within to it. A, yeah. within ourselves. But people don't but have But that's this. not no. normal. We, yeah. we sat up there and talked about ways that we could be better, mm -hmm. ways that we could show up better. We talked about what's annoying, what get on, what's, what's, annoying, what's getting on my nerves about what you. We, yeah, yeah, what we needed mm -hmm. to be. And, and yeah. the fact that that was open and, and you know, and Jackie expressed I think we all, well, at least I know I was a little sure, shocked. I, what you're gonna all say. Of yeah, I was a little gonna shocked. Say. I was heartbroken. I was heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when Jackie shared with us that this friendship group meant more to her than what I thought it meant to her. Yeah, we and all I were didn't shocked. know that. But it's all yeah. she had in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, and and I and I that that part of me felt bad, and I and maybe a little bit of guilt, guilt. came when she passed because 
I know that we had that con- we all had that moment with her. Yeah. And I know that if we would have known that earlier, we would we would have done mm, yeah, so more. much more. Yeah. But and right after that moment, we, oh, we, we did. Yeah. No, we, we were yeah, yeah, we were so absolutely. Yeah. But that makes me um that gives me peace. Yeah. And I would I I think the point of this and why we're opening this up to our audience is to show that um in the, in a group of women of color. Like, I think that that's important. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. I think Jackie right. taught me that right. first earlier on in friendship, just to really celebrate people. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's just be honest. Jackie was, I mean, outside of being so much <laughs> light and thoughtful, she was the best gift giver. Oh, oh my yeah. God. The oh, way gift. she celebrated you, she, it wasn't moo-moo, just man. the moo-moo. way what she said about my you. Moo-moo. Or she always gave you your flowers. But... She was thoughtful. She yeah. was so Very thoughtful. thoughtful. For my birthday, she got At, me a dog leash. I don't even have my dog no more. <laughs> she did. I said, Jackie, she said, Jackie, she she said, she said a dog. Give me that dog away. <laughs> Give me but the leash back. She <laughs> got, look, she got me this bracelet um, a while back when I definitely needed it probably the most, but I haven't took it off since since everything and um i can't say the word but it says keep effing going <laughs> you know inside or whatever and it's just a kind of reminder just keep going just keep look, going and yeah. i know that's what she wanted when you want to quit sentimental don't. gifts yeah. Yeah. Going. She's very sentimental. your Makes ashtray mm-hmm. no she gave me ashtray but then one year she gave me these little silver tiffany heart earrings mm. and as she was in the car it was so sweet it literally made me cry when she gave it to me she was like you are you have the biggest heart that i know so i thought mm. i'd give you some little hearts to match oh, so and i was cute. like jackie that's that's so, so she's so sweet. sweet. For my birthday last year, she did a theme of because I love you, but because you love. And everything Aww. she said, because you love your husband, she got me some lingerie. Oh, like, is that like, oh, uh, when we went to that's 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 Because you love chocolate, she got me chocolate donuts. I love chocolate donuts. Oh, um, cool. Because you love Amazon, she gave me an Amazon gift card. Yeah. Because you love oh, um, just everything. Yes. She themed it with multiple things. She was giving, too. She was yeah. such yeah. a We were walking person. through her house. at. She had a um, pool party. Just a couple weeks oh, yeah. ago oh, at her house. Her, you should have worn that today. Oh, I was going to. But. Yeah. <laughs> so we were walking through her house and she was giving me a tour and she was so excited to give me a tour of her house. So and we were going excited. through one of her closets and I was like, oh, this suit is cute. It's 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 pink. It's like me. And she goes, oh, you can have it. And yeah. I was like, really? And she just let me have the suit. Brand so new suit pretty. with the tags on it. Yeah. Wow. She was letting me have it. Yeah. She was like, yeah, my, so she was like, my gift to you. Wow. <laughs> big, big Happy Mother's heart. Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So how are y'all maneuvering through social media? Because each one of us are public figures. Yeah. And... I had a hard time, especially like I said earlier, the expectation of how people expect you to grieve, Mm -hmm. overthinking every little thing, not making a mistake. Okay, now I'm on the shade room or now, you know, all of that. So how are y'all maneuvering through? I think now it's easier and more free. I didn't have a desire to be on social media. I think at first, yeah, I, I, I think it was like, and still kind of don't like it. Don't it don't feel the same to me anymore. Um, it feels very like if it's not intentional, mm-hmm. what's the point? What are we yeah. doing? What are we doing? Yeah. It feels like that to me. Um, and then just seeing her face mm-hmm. to Everywhere. this day, 14 Everywhere. days later, I cannot get, I, I see her every time. I, and that's hard to pick up yeah. and get on social media, knowing that you're going to see somebody that you knew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We see people pass all away all the time. The time. All it's different when it, you someone who know is in them. your group. Like it's your different. friend group. For something And they're actually so much. commenting. Like it's yeah. not yeah. nonsense. See, I yeah. love social opening media. it and seeing her. I yeah. love opening and I like seeing her. I want her memory yeah. to go so, on. They're so yeah. positive. The only thing that gets hard is if I see something crazy. Yeah. yeah. Somebody say something. Then I have to start popping ask the Holy Spirit to just that's where I'm at. Because that's where I get the positive stuff, seeing her face. The positive stuff is great. The negative celebrate her the yeah. fact that I still get to see her because I don't want to not see her you yeah. know what I mean I still talk to her like she's right here me yep. too when I be at the office shipping out artist J Nova collecting <laughs> there's so many thank you guys for all the orders but yeah. I be like Jack you got me you got me down here yeah. right. I'm tired right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. but in a good way but like I still talk to her like that so it's an open mm-hmm. line to see people still celebrating her yeah. and knowing how amazing she was because there is more positivity than negativity it depending is. on what you're following it it's the negativity 100%. that it makes you want to have Twitter fingers yeah. And, but, and it's Hold like, up. it's like, so, well, sometimes I read some of the comments and I'm like, somebody just died. Yeah. Like, and you're like being this rude. is, we're, yeah. we're not yeah. internet figures. Like, there's real people yeah. attached yeah. to this. Like, someone yeah. really, truly just lost their life. Mm-hmm. Three kids truly just don't have a mother now. Like, for, for people to even have the courage or whatever it is, 
that the word is the audacity, to, the audacity, the audacity. The audacity. The audacity. to have the audacity to type some of the things they type i'm like yo what are what world are we living in so the you know you want to pop right. pop off but then then i think about it i'm like this person Y'all behind this yep. you, you don't yep. know us you don't, you don't know, know her yeah. Yeah. you could be a 12 year old boy in nebraska behind a fake screen name i don't know Usually, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. that's yeah. what it is you know yeah, what I, mean? I feel the same way like you said when i see her though i'm ex i'm happy because i know jackie like, stayed on top lit. of her con mm -hmm. her content yeah. Yeah. more than any of us every picture is fire. Yeah. Like, she it's looked not so, so good because she was so big about how she looked. Mm -hmm. I remember posting one thing on my story. She's like, I told you to put an emoji over my face or not <laughs> post it and you didn't. So I was like, I'll delete it, Jackie. You look yeah. fine. She's like, no, like, take that down. I don't like it. But everything that they're posting of her, beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. She's like the Marilyn Monroe of this generation. Yeah, so that makes me happy because I know, like, Jackie would be on my timeline mm -hmm. if she if she was still here. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, I know that she's happy that she's still getting circulated in yeah. all of it. I was but even it excited hard. at the service when they, I said, you, you better shut down 285. Period. I know. Yeah. I was, I was like, that's right. Oh I know she's shutting down. Like, that's right. The I whole said, freeway, not a lane, not a lane, not a lane. They Listen, shut the, the whole, the whole freeway, freeway was shut down, down for Jackie. Yeah, yes. right now. all five lanes. Yep. Yeah, or five almost lanes. crashed. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Megan Ashley. And before we continue with this episode, I have a major announcement. Yes, your girl has a live Zoom coming June 26 at 7 p.m. That's next week, June 26 at 7 p.m. for my close friends community. My close friends community is a safe community where I can be vulnerable and really share what's on my heart and share some of my thoughts with you guys. If you go to my website, www.nomeganashley.com, you can join my close friends with a monthly subscription you'll get personal diary entries you'll get blogs you'll get live zooms once a month with me live q a listen you guys don't want to miss out on this i can't wait to share with you guys and join with you guys june 26 at 7 p.m where we're going to be discussing the book the beta satan by john Brevere. now listen my close friends community has already started reading this it's not too late it's a quick read you can hurry up and get the book it's called the beta satan by john Brevere, and we're going to be discussing this book june 26 at 7 p.m guys Go to my close friends now. Join, and I can't wait to see you there. All right, back to the show. I no. because yeah, we because Bree yeah, called me, yeah. and I was like, yeah, they got they they shut, shut down. They like, yeah. shut it down for our girl. I almost crashed my car because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, because I was oh, so excited. Like, we you know? exactly. <laughs> I, I was so excited that you that's know, what I, I called Meg as soon as we got on the phone. I was like, yeah, you see it. We shut <laughs> yeah. Down. That's right. I, I, was was my I said, yeah, you better go out like the true queen you were. That's right. right. Yeah. But you know, yeah. I feel like, you know how hold like. Hold on, hold that thought. Oh. We're going to, I know, I know we, we have a lot to say about Jackie, but we're going to make this a part two. Okay. Okay. So okay. we're going to wrap up part one. We're going to do part two. Um, Are we doing it exclusive for Patreon? I think so. Okay. Part two will be on Patreon. We love you guys. We and love you, Jackie. We love you, Jackie. Love you, Jackie. Jackie. This episode so is much. dedicated to you. Jackie Yo from the Sco. Hey, Zaddy. Hey, Zaddy. Hey, Zaddy. Hey, Zaddy. Hey, Zaddy. Hey, Zaddy. Go off, Jackie. We love you. We're going to continue love to you. hold that thought, though. Okay. Um, we're going to continue to celebrate her in part two on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, head over to Patreon to continue this conversation. We wanted to dedicate this episode to Jackie. And before we go, we usually do, what do you know for sure? What are you saying no to for sure? But we can just go around and say something about Jackie. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. just do that. What start? do you know I, for sure about Jackie? About Jackie. Mm -hmm. you know I know for sure Jackie? that when I get to them gates, you better be the first one there. <laughs> yeah, right. When I get there to welcome me and save me a cloudy spot. Yeah. <laughs> I know for sure that when I am a mommy, I'm mm. doing it like that. Me like too. put this fish fan on and come on. Right, we about right, to go right, to this right. show and we about to do this and you put the hat on, put yeah. the fake mustache on. Everything is going to be a theme. Like she gets me excited to want to mm. be a mom. And after her passing, especially being around y'all's kids and seeing like Eli and Lisa. I'm like, <laughs> I'm more, Auntie B. yeah, mm -hmm. like it made me appreciate children more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really, really did. Like, if I was just like, what's up? Like, I yeah. go to your mama. Cause you, <laughs> Kobe, you were holding Kobe at church what? the other day. I'm like, Beast never, oh, yeah, it's different. I was like, Beast never just grab Kobe like that. Yeah. I'm like, come on. Like I could do, like it made <laughs> me. More nurturing, I yeah, guess. and look at children in a totally different light. Especially babies, yeah. yeah. So, Layla be um, interviewing her. 
Right. Yeah. You don't be like babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I know for yeah. sure that when I have my my babies, man, like I'm doing it like that. Yeah. yeah I'll good. piggyback off that. I think afterwards, I know for sure. I said the same thing. Like I'm gonna make my because I remember Jackie telling me I was like, how do you think of stuff like this? And she was like, I want my kids to have experiences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want everything to be an experience. So I know for sure I'll continue that. And I think that we should all pick things that we loved about her and yeah. Li- yeah. use that to use live it. on. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know one thing that I'm like, uh, aside from being the mom, I know for sure that I'm going to do everything full out. That's yeah. what Like, wow. Jackie did not make what? excuses. She, didn't have she was a early. Run. And I'm like, she used to be early with three kids. Yeah. Right. So what Face is your B. excuse? Mm-hmm. Face, Face B, B. Ready. Q, ready, ready. ready why on you time. Late? Like, yeah. why aren't you doing anything in your life mm-hmm. full out mm-hmm. when this lady did everything, everything. in her life full out mm-hmm. with yeah. kids? So what's your excuse? So That's I know I for sure I'm going to live full. Sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't say the same thing. I know for sure that I'm going to live my life full out. And I feel like Jackie left with me. She just was so, like anything that bothered her, she was just easy bold, to address bold. it. Yeah. Like yeah. So I know she. I want to live with boldness. Yeah. Like no matter yeah. what I do, no matter yeah. if it's hard conversations, she had them yeah. and she yep. did it with a smile on her face. She did it with grace. She, she had, did it with she'd be like, I just don't want to go, B. She had I'm boundaries. Like, okay. like you she can cancel. Just, she's like, yeah. She'd be like, I yeah. just uh, <laughs> she'd be like, I just don't like that person. No, yeah. and she wouldn't come. Like, and it wasn't a she'd be like, she yeah, didn't, I just don't like that person. Yeah. 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 Going on about my day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's how she was able to live so free. Yeah. yeah. You know, living her truth. Yeah. So mm-hmm. well, I know for sure is I'm gonna start being on time. I was the first one here today. I was the last. Um, what I also know for sure is that to just um, operate deeper in the spirit of gratitude mm-hmm. yeah. because Jackie literally was so grateful great. for oh. the small the things that you just take for granted yep. daily. Yeah. So what I know for sure is I'm going to get back to that operating from a high spirit of gratitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah good. that's good. I think I, my know for sure, um, my know for sure is two kind of two things getting back to being that type of mom. Like I used to be like that when they were little, but they're yeah, older now. Did. And you know, and she kind of yeah. knows that she kind of yeah. is no I, holiday I, photos. A thing. Yeah, Every, a I used to do thing. a photo shoot all yeah. the time. I used to be like that, but my boys are older. And when they're boys, they don't care yeah. about yeah. the that, same stuff like that you care about. Yeah. And, yeah. But I, but I was intentional about, I've been avoiding booking a trip to take my kids to Disney. And I booked a trip to take my kids oh, to Disney. Wow. I hope you didn't book it for the summertime. It's very hot. I know. Yeah. I hate, I, I, I've been, because I'm not a Disney person, but I thought about Jackie so cool. and I thought yep. about her with these, the hat, these hat, and, yeah. and it would have been Go a thing and it would have been a, you know, so that's a no for sure for me. And then the other one is to, um, to, to live intently yeah. and to be, make my peace, my joy, mm. um, my my commitment to God a priority, priority, mm-hmm. and making it like a strong priority, priority. in my life, um, and so that's what I'm going to take from Jackie. Yeah. Well, well I'm going to continue she, the mom thing because me and Jackie did all of that together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a full thing, yeah. matching outfits, all glitter, <laughs> fitness. Yeah. So definitely, I'll keep all you guys accountable. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Gigi's taking note. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm listening to y'all. If I dress up, my boys would look at me like, Where, where are you, you going? going? The crazy what part are you is doing? like, <laughs> even for Naira's graduation party, I did all of that, and it ended up being our party. They left. I right. know. Right. 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 I said all of these balloons. Yeah. yeah. Get together. Didn't even sit at this table at that time. Well, guys, yeah. head to Patreon if you want to see part two, two next week. We love you, Jackie. Thank you, ladies, for being Thank here for and being vulnerable. Yo. It's not easy um, to talk about the loss of a friend because yeah. it's still very new. Very. And this is not something that you can perfect. You can't perfect grieving. Mm-hmm. We're grieving, mm-hmm. and it's going to be what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but we love Jackie. We love each other. And um, we'll see you guys at part two. Yeah, we'll see you on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. And follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod.